Looks like some Breaking Bad stuff here. Call the cops. Fingers crossed this works. Oh, hey, welcome back. I'm Matt, and this is the before photo. So if you watched the last video from last week, we fully gutted the whole shed. We took down all the shelves. We moved the drawers out. That's the old drawers. We're going to get rid of them all together, get all the tools out, organize them in another way. We're getting a whole new racking system from Racket. We're going to be putting a French cleat system on this wall, and we're going to probably mount some packout mounts onto that French cleat uh, system, which I'm really excited about. I don't think I've seen anyone do it yet. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, it'll be my first actual French cleat wall, which will be fantastic. But if you haven't already guessed, we're doing the floors today. And this is the epoxy I've chosen. It's from Dymark. I just got this from Bunnings. Pretty much everything I bought was from Bunnings, including the uh, bucket, glove, bit of hydrochloric acid, paintbrush metal brush. We also grabbed that the other week, last week. I'm going to be using that just to get a lot of this stuff off the ground. Got a bit of paint here. I haven't used one of those scrapers before. It should get off fairly easy. So we'll get straight into it. We'll clean all this up. We'll get the gurney out, get it prepped. That's all the stuff I want to sort of get off. I don't know if the uh, scraper will get that off. It'll get off all the foam. I've got a bit of paint from one of the tables I did. Hopefully that comes off a little bit there. Like it's not too much, mainly foam. Hopefully this does the job. I think this was about 35 bucks. Something like that for my 10. Wasn't too bad. It's actually pretty sturdy. For that price, I was actually quite happy. Could have used a small little scraper, but I figured for the price, I'll probably use it in the future. Let's go. Gonna hook up the work zone pressure sprayer. I've had this, I don't know how many years now, maybe six, six years, seven years. It's ancient now, but still going hard. The soap reserve doesn't actually pump, but that's fine, don't really need that. Got all the attachments. I've also got the broom attachment, which will definitely help. But uh, yeah, I got this actually, I think my dad bought it for me one year from Aldi, under 200 bucks, I believe. Can't go past Aldi. This is actually day two. Yesterday ran out of time, had a few other things to do. But as you can see, the floor is pretty much dry. And now we're getting ready to use the hydrochloric acid. So I want to clarify, this is the first time I've done this. And at the moment, I'm actually just going off a Bunnings video of how they do it. That's where I pretty much bought all of this. I bought the same epoxy that they sell and they use in the video. And they have said to use the hydrochloric acid. I'm not sure if you actually need to use it as the Dymark epoxy coat has a concrete etch. So I believe that's to um, pretty much prep it. I don't know if it does the same sort of thing. I'm not an expert in this stuff. I'm pretty much just showing you what I'm doing. So we are gonna use the hydrochloric acid. I'll leave the Bunnings video in the description. So if you wanna check that out, definitely look at that. So with the hydrochloric acid, this is an acid and I'm just putting it out there that this is dangerous stuff. So when you're doing it, Make sure to look at all the precautions. I have gloves. I'm using a heavy duty bucket from Bunnings. I also have a respirator. I'm wearing long pants, boots, and I'm gonna be wearing glasses. And I think this is one part hydrochloric acid with 10 parts water. So that's what we'll throw into here and we'll clean all this out. Make sure it doesn't go on the grass. When we sweep it all up, we're gonna be shooting it down into the rocks there. So down the side of the shed on both sides, there's all rocks. So that should be fine.
All right, so the acid is now down. I'm about to uh, go through and clean that up with a bit of water. I was just going over the epoxy concrete etch. This comes with the die mark and just doing a bit of research. I'm not sure why they didn't use this in the Bunnings video. Maybe it didn't come with it back when they made the video, but uh, it looks like it's exactly the same as using the hydrochloric acid. So you probably do either or. This is probably cheaper, it comes with it. I think that was like seven bucks for a bottle, really cheap. So in hindsight, probably should have looked into that first, but it's done now. So we'll get in and we'll clean this out with a bit of water. I think we've just got to let that settle, let it dry. So it shouldn't take long. Like, beautiful day. I've got the fan going, not that that's going to do much. That's just for ventilation. And uh, we'll get the epoxy down. Giddy up. It's a broom attachment. Love this thing. It's been through a lot. Works perfect. You can actually see lines. I might actually use the pressure sprayer first, eh? What do you think? Looks like it's really getting some of that grime off. Wow, big difference. fully clean and now it's just the waiting game. Well, I actually don't know if this will fully dry today. Who knows, it is pretty hot. We've got the little fan going. I wish I actually got some larger fans. We've got some at work, really could have utilized them. But we'll see how dry this gets. Hopefully we can put it down this afternoon and we'll leave it overnight pretty much. So I guess in the meantime, might be able to get sneaky mow in. Maybe grab a beer. Watch uh, concrete dry. Who wants to join me? So, it's raining and uh, it's currently 6.30 Wednesday. So we did the last part on Saturday and had a look at the instructions and wanted to figure out what it meant for the concrete to be dry. Found out that they want around 72 hours before you put the epoxy down. So we've waited 72 hours. We are now up to Wednesday and unfortunately it's raining. It's actually Australia day, which is why I've got the day off. So, we're gonna see if we can set up a tarp. I've got the tarp, haven't thought too much more about it, but set up the tarp and see if we can get this epoxy down quickly this morning. Got other things on for the rest of the day as it is Australia Day, so let's get into it. This really isn't turning out too good. So you see there's a little bit of uh, water there. So the front, we we'll get this up. Front of the concrete's fully soaked. I was gonna put up the tarp last night, yeah, don't know why I didn't do that. I should have done it, uh, but that's all right. We'll deal with what we've got. So I could leave this for the weekend, but I was wanting to get a second coat down by then because apparently going through the instructions, it says two coats is uh, a lot better. So I would love to do that and I have got enough to do it. So the kit that I bought, which was $110, it does 18 square meters and this is only nine. So obviously we can do most of this now and then in a couple of days, because it says to wait 24 hours, we can do the next part. I, I still don't know if I need to do two coats, but I guess two coats is always better than one. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Am I just uh, getting too ahead of myself? Should I just wait for the weekend? Decisions, decisions, let's think over this. Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw the tarp up. We're gonna figure out how to get that up in. We don't want any of the concrete wet and we don't want any of my gear wet. So we'll figure that out. And at least that way we've got the tarp up for the rest of the week. It looks like it's gonna be raining for quite a few days. So if it's gonna be raining till Sunday, I need this concrete here to dry. So I'll set up the tarp and we'll go from there. I'm gonna see if this works. Just hold that onto there. Check out my handiwork. First time ever doing a roof, let alone a whole shed. Throw a couple more and see if that holds up. So I dropped down to Super Cheap Auto, grabbed a couple of these. They're like $1.50 each, something like that. Larger ones were about three bucks. Use those to clip it onto the 
front there. As you can see, I've used a couple of clamps, but I think these should do nicely. Looks like some Breaking Bad stuff here. Cool coughs. Fingers crossed this works. <laughs>